Hello guys, welcome to another short video on HTML. In this video, I am going to show you how we can embed or display a small portion of the external website. In this example, as you can see here, I have a Wikipedia page here where content about the HTML is shown here. I just want to display this HTML information in my website as you can see here like this. So let's see how we can achieve this one in HTML. Let's go to our editor. As you can see, I have a blank HTML page here. If I refresh this one, you can see there is a blank. Currently, I don't have any information or content here. First thing to have external web page in our site or web page, we need to embed that one. For that one in HTML, you can use different HTML tags like embed or iframe. In this example, I will use iframe. In iframe, source is the basic attribute which you need to add. Source is nothing but the page which you want to embed in your web page. So let's copy Wikipedia page and paste it here. Go back to your browser and let's see how iframe is rendering Wikipedia page into our website. As we have not defined any width or height, it has displayed small portion of this page. As you can see here, this portion of this Wikipedia page is being displayed in our website. And you can also see there is a scrolling for this page, which I don't want to have in our website. For that one, first let's go to our code and remove the scrolling. For that one, you can add another attribute, scrolling is equals to no. Just save this one and refresh the browser. You can see there is no scrolling now. Next thing we need to do is we need to adjust the portion which we want to show in our website. As I am interested in this HTML information, so I need to adjust the coordinates from the top and left. For that one, we need to have another division in our HTML website which will be outside our iframe. For that one, you can add division just outside of our iframe. This outside division works similar to a mask. Let's define a class for our outside division. I'll name it as iframe container. Similarly, you need to define class for iframe. I will name it as iframe content. Next thing we need to do is we need to set properties for these two classes. Let's have a style element in head section. Add both classes in style element so that we can define the properties for these two. First thing you need to define is you need to define position relative for iframe container. And for iframe content, you need to define position as absolute. These positions will help in masking and showing only particular portion of the page. As in this page, we need to define these coordinates from top and left. We need to define those in iframe content. For that one, we need to have top. For this instance, I will give 10 pixel and left, which will also, I will define as 10 pixel. Later in the browser, based on our requirement, we can change these two. As we need to get this entire page for displaying purpose, you need to define the height and width of this one in iframe content. As this page width and height is more than 1000 pixel, I can just give as width some 1500 pixels and height as 2000 pixels. As I said, iframe container will work as a mask kind of a thing. Here you need to display what should be the width and height of the display. For that one, I will just give 500 pixel. That will be the width and similarly height will be some 8 100 pixels. As the content is more than the width which we have defined for mask, it will be overflowing. To avoid that one, you can give overflow as hidden. So just save this file and go back to your browser and refresh it. Here you can see only particular portion of Wikipedia has been displayed here. And you can observe display size is 500 pixel width and 800 pixel height. The final step, what we need to do is we need to adjust the display to the exact positions or coordinate for this required position. For that one, to get the exact coordinates from left and top for this portion, you can go to your page and you can inspect here. 
search for the iframe go to iframe tag here select this one here you will get the coordinates of the iframe to get the left coordinate you can adjust this left option just by increasing like this or decreasing like this just scroll this one until you get the exact coordinate so now we got the coordinate at 1200 pixel so that is the left coordinate similarly you can get the top coordinate we got the top coordinate at triple two pixels as you can see display is more than what we are expected to adjust that one just select iframe container so that is the outer mask which we have now and here we have defined height as 800 pixel reduce that one until you get the exact position as you can see here we got at 515 pixels just copy these attributes and paste it in your code once you are done with your changes go back to your browser and refresh it and you can see only the required portion is being displayed in our website so that's it guys how you can show particular portion of any external web page in your website Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it to others and subscribe to my channel.